guys welcome back to all to illuminate 11 and if you are new to the channel a really warm welcome to you really glad to have you on the channel so we are going to do a quick check-in today as we're moving into the weekend see what is going on with the divine masculines and the divine feminines and we're bringing in today the wise dog tarot so thank you angels what is happening with the divine masculines what do we need to know what's happening with the divine masculines thank you angels what is going on with the Divine Masculines? What do we need to know? And then what is going on with the Divine Feminines? Thank you, Angels. With the Divine Feminines, what do we need to know for the Divine Feminines? What is happening for the Divine Feminines? Anything else that we need to know? I think that's that, okay? And then we'll also bring in, this is the Nature's Whispers. For the Divine Masculines, thank you, Angels. What messages are coming through for the Divine Masculines? anything else okay and then what messages are coming through for the divine feminines what do we need to know for the divine feminines okay right and then we'll also bring in a message for the journey using the messages through music intuitive oracle thank you angels for the journey what do we need to know what do we need to know for the journey and we'll also bring in some messages from your divine masculine using my deck the love and the progress Thank you, angels. What is the divine masculine wanting to say to the divine feminine today? What is the divine masculine wanting to say today to the divine feminine? Any other message coming through? Nope, I think that's that. Okay, so let's see the cards that have come out. So with your divine masculine, what is going on with these cards here? So the first card that I can see here, we've got here the four of swords. I always have to look at these cards really closely. It's the Four of Swords. And, you know, this is that card of sort of like rest and reflection, thinking about things. And I really feel that, you know, your Divine Masculine may be in this place this weekend where they are reflecting on their life, you know, thinking about what it is that they're wanting to bring in. It's really interesting as well because when I did the Divine Masculine reading, there was a card about solitude you know, taking time to themselves, you know, finding a bit more peace and trying to work things out for themselves, but doing it more from a place of, you know, finding more peace rather than, you know, just being in the place of worry and panic. So I really feel that this is what your divine masculine is doing. So if they're quiet, if you're in communication, they're taking some time to reflect and think about things and also just to rest. That's what I'm really getting here, making some time for themselves. And then the next card that has come out, so we've got here um, the hanged man. So, you know, you're being shown here whilst they are reflecting, thinking about things, there are necessary delays. This can be delays from communication. This can be delays from moving forward towards you. You know, there's things that they are trying to sort out in their mind. You know, they're reflecting on their own life, trying to change things, you know, so there, there are necessary delays on the Divine Masculine's part whilst they work through certain things for themselves. The next card that we've got here, we've got the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles really is that card of, you know, sort of needing to just sort of let go rather than be holding on too tightly. So I feel that your Divine Masculine is thinking about certain things that they need to let go of as well in their life. You know, things that they've been holding on to really tightly for some time and they're just needing to let these things go. You know, and they are thinking about this, reflecting on this. How can they bring in that change? You know, this could be the life that they've always had, the situation that they're in and how they can bring in that change so they are taking time to think about things you know working on how they can let go of certain things how can they can change their life you know so that they can be able to move forward to that new life with you so that's why there are necessary delays for them to find a way through whatever these things are that they need to work through that's the message I'm really getting here. And then the next card that has come out, we've got the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is the card of like good news. You know, so there is good news coming in as well for your Divine Masculine. This could be in certain things that they're working on in their own life. You know, maybe they are finding good news to help them to find a way through certain things that they're wanting to change. So there's good news coming in for them to help them to be able to move forward. Because I, and I feel that they are, are just wanting a change they want some good news to come into their life you know so that they can be 
able to move forward towards the life that they desire. But you're being shown that it is coming. You know, there may be delays right now, you know, for them to sort things out, but there is going to be some good news that's coming in for them to help them to be able to move forward. And that's going to bring in the world for them. You know, that's like a completion. That's like, you know, finishing that cycle of life that they've had. You know, the good news comes in. It helps to move things, to move things forward for them. You know, it may be just be good news of a clarity coming in about how they can change their life. It can be good news of maybe they've been waiting for some legal matters to move forward, you know, so that they can bring in that change. And that's going to bring in a completion. Those are just examples that that just came into, into my awareness there. So, but it could be anything, you know, that is going to help to bring in that completion so that they can bring in that change and move forward towards the life that they truly desire, where they have all the things that they desire, you know, sort of the world coming in, the life that they are dreaming of coming in for them as well. So powerful cards for the Divine Masculines. And then for you, the Divine Feminine, so the cards that have come out, so the first card that we've got, so firstly, we have here, this is the, I, I have to really look at this. This is the six of, this is the six of pentacles. This is the six of pentacles. And this is the card of giving and receiving in equal measures. So, you know, what in, you are being shown here that, you know, you are also learning to be in the place of giving and receiving, you know, in equal measures. The, and, you know, and that is going to help you as well as you're moving forward when it comes to having that love as well with your divine masculine. You are growing as a divine feminine and you're understanding more about, you know, being in a, in that relationship where you are giving and receiving in equal measures. But this can also be in other things that you're doing. You know, maybe you've been giving too much to other people for such a long time mm -hmm. and now you're understanding that you have to give to yourself mm -hmm. as well you know give to yourself first fill up your own mm -hmm. cup then also, you know, and also be open mm. to receiving from others. You know, maybe mm. we're just giving and giving and not receiving from mm. others. And this is what you've been learning as well mm. on your journey. That, you know, it is about you mm. giving to others and also receiving. But it is also mm. about you giving to yourself. So everything is about finding that balance. So I feel that you've been learning this on your journey. And this is helping you to grow as well as you move forward. The next card that we've got here for for the divine feminine so this is the three this this is the three of hearts this is the I'm, I'm like what is this card <laughs> so this is the next card that we've got but i am seeing this as uh it's not the three it's not the pain card but i really feel that this is you know it's like a heart connection between the between the, these two so i feel that this is showing you the connection between you and your divine masculine i'm really trying to work out what this card is and I, maybe it's the it's that card of pain you know, feeling the pain of missing your divine masculine, you know, but you're being shown here. That's what I'm getting with this card. You know, this is, I think it's the three of, of, of us. Uh, it, it's like three, <laughs> three of cups, but there's no cups in it. So I can't quite work out what the card is, but what I'm really being shown with the card itself is that connection that you have. It's like your divine masculine there, you know, that's the loyalty with the dog as well there. And then the connection to you, the divine feminine. So that's what I'm really getting with this card. Whatever it is, you can tell me if you can work out what it is, but you know, you have that heart to heart con connection. You can see see there you know your hearts are connected so this is about that love you know whatever they may be doing you know even if there is a delay because we're being shown the clock as well there even if there's a delay in them moving forward towards you when it comes to the physical your hearts are connected to each other you know which is really beautiful so you're being shown here that you're always together because you're connected heart to heart your hearts are calling to each other and you know they are within you and you are within them so no matter what is going on with the time delay you know you two are always connected they're loyal to you their heart is like a, this heart that is you know always thinking of you and you know your your hearts are connected that's what I'm getting with this card. It's like the two of you, your hearts are connected. You're always together and, 
you know, there is that beautiful love between the two of you, even if you may not actually be together in the physical, even if there are delays when it comes to actually coming together in the physical. I've never seen this card before, but you know, in this deck, but it's a beautiful card that is really showing with the sort of the line between the hearts there, that connection that is there between you and your divine masculine and also the fact that they're loyal represented by that dog there. So really beautiful card. And then the last card that has come out is the Six of Cups. And this is a beautiful card. This is about the past coming back. So what I'm getting with this card is that even though there may be delays in them coming forward to you, you know, your hearts are connected and the past is going to come back into your life. You know, they are thinking about you because your hearts belong to each other, you know, and they're thinking about you. They want to be with you. You may be reminiscing as well this weekend of that love that you've, the times that you, the good times that you've shared together. But you're being shown here that this is the past coming back. So they are going to come back to you in the right divine timing. That's why we also have this clock in this year. You know, it's, it can be showing that there are delays in that coming together, but also that everything will come in at the right, in the right divine timing because your hearts are connected. And here, the past is coming back into your life. So beautiful cards to come through. You're being shown here that the past is coming back and that is going to be your divine masculine because of that love that is there when it comes to your hearts so take what resonates and leave what doesn't but really beautiful cards coming through there and then the cards that came out from the nature's whisper for the divine masculine so the first one is inner truths and i think this is a beautiful card you know, this is about the inner truth of the way that they feel, you know, even if they may be quiet and taking time to themselves and not communicating, but they are opening up to their inner truths of the way that they truly feel. So that's the message that's coming through here, you know, and the more they can open up to that and, you know, and connect with their inner truths rather than, you know, worry, being so caught up in the fears, the more they can then be and admit those inner truths to themselves, the more they can and then be able to move forward and change things in their life and move forward towards the life that they truly desire the next card that has come out for them so we've got here adventure so i feel that this is them wanting adventure in their life you know rather than that life that is mundane and meaningless and not fulfilling that they may be living right now they're thinking about adventure you know this could be things that they are thinking about when they are sitting there you know in, uh, taking time for themselves you know reflecting on their lives realizing that they need to bring in some adventure in their lives but be spontaneous also come out came out here so, you know, I feel that they are really wanting this in their life, adventure, being spontaneous, and, you know, and they are thinking about how to bring more of this in. And they know they will have that adventure and, you know, be being spontaneous and doing fun things with you as well. So, you know, this is their inner truth. These are the things that they're opening up to for themselves. That's what I'm really feeling here. They're opening up to these things for themselves so that they can be and being honest with themselves that they want that in their life but they're not having it where they are but to have it they need to change certain things as well the last card that came out is bountiful harvest and you know and this is them opening up more to that life that they're desiring this is like the world's card you know bringing in all the things that they desire good news coming in that will bring in that bountiful harvest of them having the life of their dreams you know the adventures all the love and the things that they're desiring so this is coming in for them they just need to change things in their life right now that's the big message that's coming through and then the cards that have come out for you the divine feminine so we've got intuition so really connect and listen more to your intuition you are being guided in so many different and beautiful ways and you know and your intuition is getting stronger and stronger the more you're moving forward on your path you know we had this 222 portal that was helping you to connect more to your intuition your true self so you're being shown here your intuition is becoming stronger so it's about listening to your intuition and then we've got here be in service so beautiful cards as well as a divine feminine during this time that your divine masculine is sorting things out in their own life finding their way 
you know, finding their own inner truth, uh, taking time for themselves, be in service, focus on mission, the things that you can do to be creative, to bring out into the world, to help others, you know, focus on mission and be in service. That's the message that's coming through here. Acceptance of love has also come out. Beautiful cards, these ones. You know, this is about being in acceptance of that love that you feel for your divine masculine. You know, your hearts are connected, you know, be in that place. And I feel that you are in this place as well, or, you know, working into this place of accepting that love for what it is you know the fact that you are connected and you are you have this beautiful love and accepting things as they are because you are operating more from the place of unconditional love or you may be working towards getting more into the place of acceptance of this love for what it is and you know and just trusting as well that it will all fall into place at the right time and then the last card that has come out is shift your energy so you know if you are in a place where maybe you're focusing too much on things going on out there with your divine masculine or you are in this place of focusing on fear you're being asked to shift your energy fix fix shift your energy to focusing on acceptance of love you know accept the love for what it is shift your energy towards being in service, doing the things that you enjoy doing, having fun in your life, living your life fully, you know, shift your energy to yourself, put all the focus on you, focus on your life, you know, of being in service. And that's going to help you to move forward as well when it comes to your own journey. So that's the message coming through. And then the cards that came out for uh, the journey itself. So the first one is they are sending you signs and signals and clear messages that they love you and are returning and are intending tending to return so beautiful message when we had the card for the divine feminine the six of cups of the past coming back and you're being shown here that they are sending you signs and signals and clear messages that they love you and they intend to return so even if they may not be doing it in person in the physical they're sending you clear signs and signals and it's about trusting those seeing those messages acceptance of the love for what it is right now and it says, your twin flame is working with the universe to get their message across to you just about how, just how much they care. Pay attention to the things you see and hear at this time. So I feel that this weekend you're going to be shown certain signs and, you know, your twin flame working with the universe to bring you in those signs to show you just how much they care be in the present moment wherever you are whatever you're doing and pay attention to the things you see and hear at this time really beautiful it is fate and destiny your twin flame knows that you are twin flames and that it is destined for you to be together so they know that you're meant to be together they may not know the term twin flames but they know that there is something special here when it comes to this connection that you are destined to be together and they want to be a part of this your hearts are connected so you know they know this and they want to be a part of your life there may be delays but they're working through that so that they can have this life with you expect powerful change your you know is real and true they know is real and true and this time there is no turning back so you both know you know your hearts are connected no matter what may be going on in the physical world you know your hearts are connected there's that pull that happens between the two of you so they know it's real and you know it's real and there is no turning back really beautiful message so expect powerful change and then the cards that came out from your divine masculine what they're wanting you to know so firstly they're saying i shouldn't have denied us of this love i want to make things right again between us so they're saying to you you know they're thinking about things reflecting you know the first card that we had thinking about things and thinking i shouldn't have denied us of this love they know there's that special connection between the two of you and they want to make things right again I am currently working on freeing myself from my karmic ties, my fears, and all that is holding me back from being with you. So they are saying to you right now, this is what I'm doing. This is why they need that time to, for themselves, you know, that re time of reflecting. That's why there's necessary delays so that they can work through these things for themselves. They are trying to free themselves from their karmic ties, from their fears, and everything that is holding them back from being with you. So they're letting you know that they are doing this. And they're also saying to you, I am going to ensure that I have you back in my life. 
So they want to be with you. That's why you got to expect powerful change. They're saying, I am doing what I need to do right now. And I'm going to ensure that I have you back in my life. I am planning our future together. So this is what they're also thinking about. That future with you, the future of adventure, being spontaneous, just living a beautiful life together. And they're saying to you, this is what I desire. You know, I know I need to let go of the things that I've been holding on to for so long. And, you know, free myself from these things. And, you know, and then I can have this beautiful life with you. But in their mind, when they're thinking about things, they are planning this beautiful future together with you. So beautiful message is coming through. I hope you have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.